Well, Taser company Axon has developed AI software that turns audio from police body cam footage into immediate police reports so the cop doesn't have to go back and type it all down. Joining me now is Axon President Josh Isner. Josh, this seems like a wonderful solution uh, for a lot of cops who are complaining they're doing mostly paperwork instead of out in the streets, right? Absolutely. Thanks for having me, David. That's a Thank big you. part of it. Like 40% of a police officer's day to day wow. is uh, predicated on writing uh. police reports and doing other administrative tasks. And we think we can cut that in half with our new product, Draft One, which writes what our customers say is about 80 to 90% of the report before the officer even has to engage in that task. Now, of course, there's a lot of other stuff that that, that cops say uh, in the in the course. I've I've gone with cops on various uh, routes to to see how they how they do things, and and there's a lot of stuff that comes in the conversation they might not want in a police report. How how does AI uh, take that stuff out? Yeah, it, it, the AI really won't make decisions like that. The, the transcript is based on what is in the body cam video. That's what the AI is relying on. So anything that happens in that video, that show up in the report. And then it's really important though that the officer goes in and does the last mile of the report, him or herself. This I has got to be owned. The final product has to be owned by the okay. police officer. So this and this so doesn't go right. Editing. This doesn't go right from the body cam to the to the chief's desk. It, the, the cop has to come back and edit it. The cop becomes the editor of this stuff rather than the writer of it. Correct. That's a great way to put it. That's the most important part is at the end of the day, the officer has to be signing off on the product and there are several safeguards in there to make sure that happens. So how many police departments use this draft one product? Well, we just announced it at our user conference uh, this week on Tuesday morning. We've tested it with several large police off or police agencies across the country and several DA's offices as well as they're a big stakeholder in this. But we expect uh, a lot of demand out of the gate for this product. Uh, the feedback at the user conference was awesome. And we think this is going to be a pretty big one in terms of the first major AI product in policing. And finally, who actually developed the AI product? I mean, did you did you outsource that, or do you have people? Do you have a whole new division doing that? Yeah, great question. We're, we try to do what we're really good at, and ultimately, there are a lot of uh, uh, vendors out there that are really, really good at AI. So we take that you know general uh, premise and apply it to our product and our use case and our user experience within Evidence.com, which is kind of the leading software package in law enforcement right now. Yeah. So it's really a partnership, but it's very seamless to the end user. Well, and we think I, they're going to be really I excited. I got to say, any product that makes the streets safer, I'm, I'm for 100 percent. And I love it when tech can be used in such a positive way. Josh Isner, great to see you, my friend. Thank you very much. Best of luck Thank on this Thank you product. very much for having me, of David. Of course. Appreciate it.